Right, a giant spider-shaped stage, which is usually one of the highlights of Glastonbury, has moved into Bristol today. For the first time, Arcadia are bringing their pyrotechnic show to the city centre. As part of Bristol's year as European Green Capital, the flames which shoot out of the spider will be run almost entirely on biofuel. Chloe Culpin's been to see what's going on. This peaceful Georgian park in the heart of Bristol is about to be transformed. The spider was last seen at Glastonbury with its pyrotechnics in full flow. But this time, as Bristol is Europe's green capital, the flames will be fuelled by waste oil from local chip shops. So rather than trying to source green fuel from around the country, it seemed totally obvious to get it from Bristol. So we're working with a company called Bristol Biodiesel and they're sourcing the fuel and, and get, taking it through a chemical process which turns it into a biodiesel and then we can burn it in our flame system. Leg by leg, the 20 metre tall structure was brought in today on articulated lorries. It will take four days to complete and once it's up, a minimum of 45 people are needed to operate it. The spider itself is pretty green too, being made almost entirely from scrap metal pieces. We always reclaim and recycle, it's part of our ethos. So it's part of customs and excise, scanning machines, jet engines, helicopters, all that kind of thing. So a lot of it's actually from military backgrounds or from government backgrounds. It's kind of repurposed and made into a machine that actually gives people joy and pleasure. This is being called an interactive and immersive event primarily because the crowd will be able to come right underneath the structure and some will even get the chance to ride around in little mechanical spiders around the arena. I'm told it's taken a lot of local talent to get to this point. It's been made by engineers, sculptors, um, performers, uh, physicists, science, everyone you can imagine from across the board um, and it's a bit of theatre in there and, and everything else. More than 25,000 people are expected at the event on the 4th and 5th of September, although it probably won't appeal to those suffering with arachnophobia. Chloe Culpin, BBC Points West. Yeah, only if it crawled up the side of my bath, there's a, <laughs> there's a difference there, but that looks incredible, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, if it crawled up the side of your bath, the bath is huge and the spider's <laughs> even bigger. Get out. There you go.